What did my grandma do? My grandma used to make toffee squares every Christmas. Which were... They're like just brown sugar and butter. We could do that for Christmas together. That would be cute. And they're easy to make. I'm gonna Google the recipe real quick. All right, let me make sure this is the right one. They're so easy. Unsalted butter, brown sugar. Do I remember putting an egg in it? Egg, vanilla, salt, flour, chocolate chips, and chopped pecans. I'm tabbed out real quick so I can look at it. Because from what I remember, they're super fucking easy to make. I think this one's probably the closest. Having an egg in it sounds fine. Let me read the recipe. Preheat oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Put the butter in until smooth. Then add brown sugar until light and fluffy. And then add the egg and vanilla and mix. And then the salt and the flour. That sounds good enough. And it's called Mama's. As in Mima's. This one. We should do this for Christmas together. Where we all make this recipe together. And this one says... I think this one says chocolate chips for the topping. And you can also add... My grandparents did do chopped pecans on the top too. Um, instead of chocolate chips, my grandma used to take Hershey's bars and just put three on the top and then spread them around as they melted. Let's do it. Because that is like such a big... nostalgia thing for me. Um, and it will be really fun and nice. Listen, I can... I'm good at baking. Um, I'm not so good at... I do okay at cooking. I don't like to cook, though. It's too much, uh... Cooking is too much intuition. Whereas baking is more of following directions. Which I'm also not great at. Just gonna make these today, you can't stop me. If you do, please just post pictures in the Discord. They're so fucking good. They're so good. Um, this one is from the f back of the flower package itself, which is probably a very good indication that it might be the one that my grandma did. Uh, because old people grew up looking for recipes on the back of the Betty Crocker packages. Um, and that one comes back from, from the back of the flower package, so that makes sense. And then this one. This one has two eggs. Where's the double butter one? Was it this one? Brown sugar mama. I respect it. Is this the double butter? Yes. If you want the double butter recipe, here's the double butter. Feel free to use any of those. Um... Yeah, and then they turn it into old family recipes. That's so fucking true. <laughs> my grandma was like, this is my special recipe. And so when I, like, after my grandma passed away, I was like, I forgot about them for a while. And then it was some Christmas time and I was like, oh my God, I, I want to make those, those things that she made so bad. And so I texted my mom, I was like, what's grandma's recipe? Do you have it still? And I think she still had it, because my grandma had a Rolodex of recipes. Zoomers will not understand those words. Um, I'm Zoomer shaming. And then she sent it to me, and then I lost it again. Not the original. So I googled it, and I was like, oh, it's on Google, like, times a thousand. Times a thousand. Not a Rolex, a Rolodex. Is that... That's the word, right? A Rolodex. I had a Rolodex. I think I kept my Neopets passwords on it. We should go back to that. I love writing recipes down. It's, maybe it's an American thing, Pocus. Not rollerblades. An old cookbook full of notations and changes is a rare and wonderful thing. Yeah, my mom had some cookbook. Cookbook from... 
Was it from the 90s or the 80s? Here's gonna be a tip of my tongue, uh... Challenge for you. My mom had this recipe book where it looked like a, a like a woman dressed up like the lady from the nanny and it had like The recipes had like curse words in them and stuff and I think they were like very sexy and stuff too And I loved reading that cookbook because I was like hell yeah Fran Drescher it looked like her, but I don't think it was not her recipe book but it might have been a, a drag queen, or it just might have been, like, a very, like, dressed-up woman. I learned to cook from my grandma, not so much recipes, but the toss stuff until it works. I did not have that intuition. I think also because my recipes would be, like, my mom made really terrible chicken and then, like, meatloaf, and that's about it. Don't try chat, she imagines her books, they don't exist. No! Hey, Jakey, thank you very much. Cookbook I remember from my childhood was Fanny Farmer's cookbook. Coolio had a recipe book called Cooking with Coolio, and I always thought it was a tragedy that it wasn't called Gangsta's Pot O' Rice. Oh my god. 